It takes a very special person to care for those who are dying at Victoria Hospice. And Dr. Deb, as she's known to many, has been just such a person. Tonight, Veronica Cooper introduces us to the woman who's retiring after 34 years at Victoria Hospice. For more than three decades, Victoria Hospice has supported the dying. And what we try to do with our care is, is really come alongside patients and families and help them through those final stages. And Dr. Deb Braithwaite has been there since those early days. Well, I was a new graduate, but there was an opportunity to do um, a couple of half days a week at the Victoria Hospice, which was a brand new um, uh, palliative care unit here in Victoria. And I just jumped at the chance. Everything's gone, David? Yes, thank you. Okay. Once I got into it, um, I really loved it. And uh, after a few years, um, I knew that that was the career that I was, was going to keep. Just such a tone setter in terms of the kind of care that we want to provide, the way that we want to be available to patients, the way we want to be available to families, uh, and, and really putting th those patients and families at the center of our care. And I think Deb has always modeled that. Victoria Hospice has not only given Dr. Deb, as she is known, a rewarding career. Hi, you too. How are you? It's given her love too. It was a, a volunteer appreciation night at the, it was held at the art gallery. That was 17 years ago. Andy had already been volunteering at hospice for a decade. I always fancied her. I mean, I'd seen her on the unit, but, and I only talked to her once many years beforehand. And I just said, hello, Deborah, in my, <laughs> in my mock, uh, Michael Caine voice. And um, it actually worked. And uh, we've been an item ever since. Now, after 34 years, Dr. Deb has made that tough decision to retire. Of course I'll miss it. You don't work at a place that you love and do the kind of work that you love as much as I have over all these years without leaving a little bit of your heart behind. And so well, part of my heart will always be with hospice. Dr. Deb hopes many will join the hike for hospice on Sunday, May 6th, as Victoria Hospice depends on community donations to provide roughly half their funding. It's always the right time to get behind a good cause, and hospice is one of the very best um, out there. For a lot of the families who have been touched by our care, events like Hike for Hospice create an opportunity for them to remember their loved one and to honour their loved one in a fun way and get friends and family involved. Support Hike for Hospice at the links tab on our website. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.